Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing a Shopee stationery haul which contains pens and markers that are dupes of famous brands like Muji, Maldliner, and Sarasa. I will be doing a swatch and will be giving my overall review about them. So, hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. The first one is called DS Vintage 0.5. I got this because of the wide range of vintage colors and this is supposedly a dupe for the Zebra Sarasa Vintage Ink but I just got this due to how affordable it is and the wide range of colors they had to offer. So there are 4 packs of this with each pack containing 5 pens. The pen has a pen clip where you can clip the pen to your notebook and the pen clip also retracts the pen so you can only use the pen clip if the tip is not out and the tip is 0.5 millimeter. For the ink itself, it is very smooth in writing and the ink didn't stop flowing even if I write sideways or very fast, which most cheap gel pens normally do. Now, compared to the Zebra Sarasa ink, this ink has the tendency to smudge if you don't let it dry for about 1-2 to two minutes while most Zebra Sarasa pens dry in about 30 seconds to 1 minute based on the Zebra Sarasa pens I use. Also, in terms of ghosting, I advise to not use these pens if you use thin papers like those around 60 to 80 GSM since they ghost quite a lot for thin papers but the ghosting is not that evident for thick papers like those above 100 GSM. The pen inks are relatively darker so for me, it's nice since it's easy to see and it does not hurt the eyes unlike the very pastel or neon pens. Overall, I would recommend this to anyone looking for different colored pens that do not hurt the eyes and are relatively easy to see from afar. And here is the swatch of all DS Vintage 0.5mm pens based on each of the pack. The next one is Morandi Gel Pen by Yu Fun. I was curious to try this since it is known to be a dupe for the Muji Gel Pen and they offer also a wide range of colors compared to Muji. There are 4 packs of this with 9 pens each and each pack is categorized based on the colors of the pen. There is the Nordic Set, the Retro Set, the Sweet Set, and the Salt Set. Each pack comes with a free bookmark set which you can color using the gel pens and each set has a unique design of the bookmarks. And the bookmarks really really look so pretty that I decided to save them and use them as part of my bookmark collection. The design of the pen is a lookalike to the new Muji pen design. And the tip, of course, is 0.5 millimeter. The only difference is that instead of the Muji um, sticker, it would be a sticker of U Fun. But other than that, it looks exactly like a Muji pen. Inkwise, I think Muji is still superior since as you write with these pens, there's a kind of white marking made as you write, which is not visible when you use the Muji ink. Now, when writing fast, there's also an imbalance of the ink, where some parts have no visible white lines while other parts have, which of course can be annoying for some but technically, it's okay for me since as long as I can see the text I write perfectly, then I have no problems. What I also dislike the most is the sweet set, since the inks are too light that when you use it to write, it may be hard to read and you will also be able to see this in the next part of the video of where I show the swatch. Now overall, I would recommend using these pens if you are not that picky with the imbalance of the ink when writing and the white lines made when writing and I will also highly suggest you to get the Nordic and the Retro set since the ink color is more darker and you have to avoid the sweet set since all colors are way too light to see while the salt set has also two very light colors which are also hard to read or hard to see. And here's the swatch of the Morandi pen set by Yufon. 
Note that it also goes a bit more than the Moji set but it isn't as bad as the DS Vintage 0.5mm. Next is the Shans Water Based Fluga Color and this is a dupe of the Zebra Mild Liner. I specifically dislike the Zebra Mild Liner due to it heavily ghosting on paper even when my paper is already 100 GSM which is why I wanted to try if this dupe mild liner will ghost less than the original zebra mild liner. Now I got the warm friendly and the bright pack since I already have the original fluorescent and cool pack of zebra mild liners. For the body, it is exactly like the original zebra mild liner except instead of it saying mild liner it will say Shan's floor color. And as always for a dual tip there's one side that will contain the highlighter tip and the other side will contain the marker tip. For these highlighters, I find the marker tip to be inconsistent. Some of the colors had a hard marker tip, which was what I experienced when I first got the original Zebra Mild Liners, but the others had a softer tip, which I found weird since the tips would normally become softer if I kept on using the tip for a while. The colors that had a harder marker tip would make thinner lines while the colors that had a softer marker tip will make thicker lines. For the colors, I have to say that for a dupe mild liner, the colors were really similar to the original mild liner packs except that it may be a bit darker or just a bit lighter. So this really surprised me since the accuracy of the colors is almost spot on. Also, these mild liner dupes goes less than the original mild liners which is good news to those who use thin papers. Overall, I would say for the price, I would recommend this since the colors are almost the same with the original mild liners and it goes less than the original mild liners and as long as you are not that picky with the inconsistency of the hardness or softness of the marker tip or the inconsistency of some tips making thicker lines or some tips making thinner lines then I suggest you go get this. And for the price of 88 peso, this is already such a steal with its quality and its accuracy in the Zebra Mild Liner colors. Here is the swatch of the Shans Dual Tip Highlighter. And here's a comparison between the original Zebra Mild Liner and the Duke Mild Liner. The last one is the Sugar Color Dual Tip. I really wasn't going to buy this but then I had my Shopee Celebrity Pamasko Money that I needed to use so I just bought it. This dual tip contains one highlighter tip and one marker tip which is similar to the Zebra Mild Liners. And note that the colors here are also pastel colors. What I can say for these pastel highlighters, the colors are not too light so you can use the marker tip to write and you won't have a hard time reading it. The highlighters also don't dry up easily since I accidentally left one of them without a cap overnight but the ink still works perfectly fine. Also, a con that I just noticed is that it heavily goes on papers, especially thin papers. The ghosting of this is even worse than the ghosting of the original Zebra Mild Liners, but if you have thick paper, then this shouldn't be a problem. Overall, for 55 pesos, this pastel dual tip highlighter set is really a steal price since the colors are dark enough to read and it won't hurt your eyes, plus they don't easily dry up and writing or highlighting with it is also very smooth. Just don't get this if you are using thin papers unless you're not that picky with ghosting. And here is the swatch of the sugar color dual tip highlighters. And here is how the ghosting is on 60 GSM paper. And that's it! I hope you found this video helpful into the affordable pens and highlighters you can use as an alternative to these high-costing brands. All product links are in the description box and make sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!